the next problem that we need to work on that I encountered is the spider eyes problem, which has come up numerous times in the past. So it's not new. And the only way to get them is from spiders or witches. And unfortunately, spiders are not something we can get a lot of in Garden of Glass because we can't do... Um, spawners. There's no spider spawners in the Garden of Glass world. <laughs> Apparently it's in, there's dungeon loot for it, but it's desert temple dungeon loot. So that doesn't even count for us because the only dungeon loot that we can get from the Lunium is a uh, standard dungeon loot. So, you know, the eight by eight squares with the spawner in the middle dungeon loot. So this is our only option of increasing spider eyes. I mean, we'd get a bunch of this other stuff affected by looting. Which won't work with a living wood avatar. But it would at least increase the chance of more spider eyes. Alright. This, let's work toward trying to get this. Yeah, Quark is in the pack. Why do you ask? Can you convert a spawner to another spawner? Yes, but we can't get spawn eggs. They're done a different way in this pack. Um, I had this added in. Um, he has a way of, see if you right click a spawner with a mob head, it'll change its spawn type. That is how this works. Um, the only spawners that we can encounter are blaze spawners and enderman spawners. Enderman spawners are the rare ones in the end, but we can find blaze spawners in the nether. We can only do it for mob heads. The only mob heads you can get are skeleton zombie and creeper in vanilla Minecraft. So I requested a way of getting more spider eyes and since spider heads don't exist and there's no way to like do something to get a spider spawner. He added witch hats, which are from Quark. So he just enabled witch hat drops to convert spawners to witches, which is, he just, he, Lucid intentionally did this for me to help me get spider eyes. That, yeah. So we can do this, or we can make a giant, really big spider only mob drop, drop farm, which I'd prefer not to do. Getting a witch hat. Getting a witch hat means killing a witch with our, um, I think it's looting. No, it's beheading probably. Um, with our Elementium Axe. I don't think the one that we have in here, I think this was for, it has smite on it. No, it has sharpness, which we want. Um, our chances here are a little less. I mean, we just have to kind of stand over here and try to get a, um, a witch to spawn. And I don't see any currently. And then when they do spawn, we need to go kill it. <laughs> so that is our game plan. Trying to get a witch to spawn. I do not believe they survive the drop. 
I think it's too far. So we're just gonna have to like fly up and down and away until we see a, a witch. <sighs> Not this time. Are we far enough away for them to spawn? There's a witch. I... I hit it with the wrong tool. Dumb dumb is that I am. get to wait again. There's witches. Where did the other lady go? Okay, so still no... I don't know what the percent chance is. Apparently you can enchant them. Oh, this is going to be a long process, isn't it? I, th I think I recall that he made it so that the witch's hat was considered a player kill only. Night vision potion? You know that might help. You're not wrong there. That would probably help. I wonder if there's a Botana Botania variant or if we'll have to actually, for the first time, use a vanilla... Um... Flask. Let's see. Uh -huh -huh. Visibility. Night vision. Owl sight. Nether wart. Spider eye. Golden carrot. Do I have... I don't have any of the crafty stuff there, do I? I do have flasks. Okay. Another wart. I think it's two words. And carrot. Okay. of just garbledy guck in our inventory, don't we? Alright, so we need to switch you out. You. Great. That ought to help. Okay, we're eating our rabbit stew. Alright. Did that increase the number of foods? 
23. It did. Yay. Now we're on to bread because I cannot recall eating bread. Um, we probably should put the other axe in our... Yeah, put it in here. We'll just use the killer axe. All right. Let's take our flask. Okay. No witches. This is very helpful. Thank you, Darkwing, for suggesting that I make a night vision potion. Alright. Am I far enough away? There's a decent number of spiders there. We just have to hope for spider eyes, right? Which isn't exactly very common. I'm not far enough away. Or maybe I'm too far away. Who knows? I think because my world is stuttering, it's not spawning a lot of things. I should have restarted my my computer. I feel bad now. TPS is 13, and I can tell you the bulk of them are... Oh, there's some witches. Oh, this isn't good. Well, that probably didn't help. <laughs> Why did it switch over to... Uh, you know what? We're going to take you off. Because I don't need you switching over to something else when I need you to be X. Did I happen to get one? Did I maybe kill it and no? Alright. Still no witches. I'm not having a very good luck of killing the witches that do spawn in and then... Um... That's probably just my luck.
Mm -hmm. A way to generate lightning. And can villagers be changed? I think they can be? Question mark? Do I... I do... Ooh, is that actual lightning? Um... You've asked a good question. I don't think so. Because, I mean, we have the rod of the... The rod that's being used, the unstable reservoir, but I don't think that's considered that's considered like missile projectiles. I'm not I'm not sure I can generate lightning. Um Isn't there a sword? Good question. Um, okay. Oh, wait, I bet it's a special sword. Um, do I? Can I? That's a. Thundercaller! Ooh, you know, we might have one of those. The question I have is which does it. Okay. I know in future versions it's only specific villagers, but is it all villagers in. 112? Doesn't look like I have ever, I have ever made a thunder collar. Probably because it requires the higher tier stuff that I couldn't get. Okay, so let's do that. We need, let's come over here and request um, you, you, and you. And then this is going to need two of these. And then some Terra Steel. Do we already have two? Yep. Wow, we're at 111. We're gonna need to probably turn on the lunium, uh, throw the Terra Blade in here pretty soon. Not Terra Blade, the, um, Terra Shatterer. Okay, so there's the Terra Blade. And let's make sure this is not our special one. Yep, Thunder Collar. Okay, let's find out. We have a bunch of villagers we don't need over here right now. And hopefully not kill. Do I need to do anything special? Um... Maybe I should read the book. And I threw my owl sight. Let's not do that. Let's see if we can find it. Dual prong sword with the ability to conjure lightning. Um, attacks initiated with the Thundercaller invoke upon chain lightning that hones in on nearby hostile, hostile mobs. Hostile mobs. Yep. Well, <laughs> I think we're back to trying to slay witches. And 
and we are too far away, so there's no in in really there. Oh, zombies? Yeah. Okay. No biggie. If I ever wanted to make a creeper spawner, um, I have a way of getting a creeper head now. With the thunder collar. So... It wasn't hard to make. We're good. Look at all those. Yay for spiders! Yeah, it's not hard to make where I'm at in the game. You're right. Witches! Oh no, they're being swept off. Dang it. Ah! Dog on it. Oh, and there's more. I really need to just stay up here, don't I? Hmm. I think I have the time. How fast do I have this? Maybe I can slow it down. Oh, it's, it's 30 seconds. That should be long enough for me to do this. I just need to catch them before the water turns on. No, that's not a witch. Ah. Okay. Boy. Sometimes the challenges of playing Garden of Glass mode are un pleasant. I wonder what the chance is of getting it. What's the chance of getting a witch hat?
Wow, Creeper City. You've been playing Vintage Story? I'm not familiar with the game. Okay, this is going to take me a while. And I don't know what else I want to do today. So we're just going to spend the time doing witch hunting, I think. We're going on a witch hunt. Huh, I didn't know the Enderman can land up there. Might have to solve that problem. Not that it's a big problem, because otherwise I'd be low on Ender Pearls. And I have an Enderman spawner. Wow, where are all the witches, man? I haven't seen a single one spawn in a bit. <laughs> Ugh, dang it. Still no witch's head. Uh, what do we need the witch for? We need a witch's hat so we can convert a spawner into a witch spawner. And you can only get it via beheading. Just like a mob head. Um, so we've been trying to, trying to get witches. And we need witch spawner so we can get more spider eyes. Because <laughs> we're in a deficit of spider eyes and this late in the game we should not be in a deficit for things. While I'm thinking about it, we should check our wool and see if it's rebuilding now that I've turned the speculotus down. The spectrolotus is what? Let's see. Last we looked it was about two stacks. Oh, still only about two stacks. Hmm. I wonder if what we actually need to do is turn this down. I mean, maybe we'll want to... I think what we're going to want to do is put in an on-off for this for this. Because look at all the wool we've got here. Um, We may need to put in... The uh, on-off switch that I told you about taking this one that we have here and putting it over here, too. I wonder if it might just be as easy as... Um, running this line right here over there and inverting it. Because this will turn on, this line will turn on when we're too low. Alright. And that is when we want to turn the disco board on? Or do we want to set up some a separate one and just have it, have all of these be inverted? Because this is our current problem. Um, 
and this keeps turning on and off because that's our problem. We get to 2048, it turns on. And when we get above it, it stays fine. It just... <sighs> yeah. Problems. We always find problems on Sundays, don't we? Always find the problems on Sundays. No witches. Definitely can see why we have no problems with our gunpowder. Goodness, the amount of creepers. Okay. My head's running through this wool problem while I'm looking for witches. So, instead of hacking into that, we need to hack into this here and make this an ore. Either this is too low or we're out of a color. Or, um, not out of a color. It needs to be turned off when either the wool is too the white wool is too low or we've we've got we've got so many colors so I'm trying to think of colors have reached a certain So if we split this bef signal, we need to move this back a little bit, but if we make it so that this is an or gate, this or this, turn on, but won't that do, it will be always, it needs to be conditional. You know me in redstone on Sundays. It's probably glaringly obvious for a lot of you. Because what we need is if we have a bunch of colors, we should consider turning this off. But if we don't have enough white, it should be off too. If we have enough white, it should it should be the count, the mac, the color count. How do we do this? I'm wondering if I should just temporarily make it higher than a, a sapling temporarily until I figure this out. Um, do I have... I do have an index here. Oh, dang it. I just need to replace. So now the cactus is higher. It's a uh, 15. So this will be off for a little while while it builds the white up again. But of course, once it reaches that threshold where it dances back and forth, it's going to have this problem again. 
<laughs> so... I'm, I'm gonna have to think about this. Let me write it down. Um, I think we're gonna need to make this do a range. Like it's off when it reaches a certain number, but it won't turn on until it reaches a different number. What kind of gate is that? <laughs> So like it's off when it reaches 2048 but it won't turn on until it reaches whatever I decide is higher up whatever this cactus one is going to give me hmm. let's see if they've said anything in the discord about mushrooms no one has an answer. No one has said anything. That would be an insane attempt, test attempt, so I don't really want to do that if I don't have to. So temporarily this is turned off until we've built up our white wool supply a bit better, but we do need to figure out a long-term solution to protect that. Uh, you understand you want to range when it's on. Um, yeah, I want this piston retracted or extended. I want the piston extended when we have, um, uh, let me think about it this way. It needs to be off when we fall below a threshold of 2048, but it cannot turn back on until we have a new, the new threshold of whatever this is going to be. So it doesn't pulse back and forth as wool comes in and it goes 2048, 2050, oh, go, 2048, 2050, go. Yeah, so it doesn't bounce back and forth because that's a problem. That is wasteful and useless and, um, yeah. So it's conditional and <laughs> I just can't think of, um, what I need to do for that. Could that be solved with two pistons opposing each other? The block in between using two indexes. Oh. 
Okay, so what you're saying is if we did So we would have there and there. They would both be measuring white wool, but we'd be monitoring them with different signal strengths. And then out this side, um, for example, if this one were the low one, like we're too low, it would not be retracted. It'd be this one. Then when we get too high, so this would be the output that we would want. We would want why did it here instead of somewhere where there's more space? I don't know. <laughs> Um, this might be smarter to do in a test world, but, um... Let's not use cubes. Let's just use redstone. <laughs> Let's just use redstone. All right. So if this one were a signal strength, the low strength, so we would need to do like that. This is going to give you a strength of 10. We'll go down further. This is now a single strength of six, and this one would be good to do, like, where did I use up all of my... Okay. So what we need to do is, um, gosh. I don't know why redstone when I'm... That's not... Ooh, 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 dang it. Just, just, ugh. Space. I don't think I have more pots, do I? I have just enough to do this test. This is the high. No, this one's the high. This one's the lower. So because, all right, so let me think about this. These lines indicate our crystal cube count for whatever. One is like our wool is low, like below what it needs to be. And the other is uh, high. So these should actually be the same, shouldn't they? Um. In the ultimately, they, they'll be the same, won't they? Should I realistically try to visualize this another way? So they're the same signal. The 
this. They both say six, so essentially they're both below the signal that it needs to be. The, um... Where are we here? Ten, we need to go. Uh, one. No. There we go. Twelve. Twelve is how much a sapling gives off a signal strength. So if uh, I see what you're trying to say, it's just this is comparing the signal strength. This is 12 before it will send it out. This is 15. So if this is below, like this is the low number, this would be turning, the output would be turning off. It'd be retracting the piston. Which, for that, we could do this guy. Okay. And over there, that's what we want, right? We want it retract. No, we want it retracted one any other way. This is not enough. There's not enough white wool, so it'll be in this position. Because it's only giving a 12 and we need it to be 15. So this actually needs to be here. And this is the only time. This is the only time the piston should be extended, is here. Okay. When we get to 15 or higher, That should be that not oh that's not 15 haha -ha. that's 15 but if it falls below 15 this will retract but it'll still stay there right so it's 14 13 and then when it gets to 12, it'll push it over. And then it'll, when it gets to 13, um, nothing will happen. 14, nothing will happen. 15, which this one will be disabled by then. Um, 15. Yep, okay. So I, let me visualize this one more time in my head. 12 is where we're at for this. And that says we have 2048, which is where we want to turn it off. Currently off. Then we get to, uh, when we get to 13, Um, this needs to be off at 13. Um, that's a problem. Because <laughs> if it goes above that number, this will still be lit up. This will still send a signal through. Erg. Why am I confused by this?
We want this to be less. The 15 one can't push since the other side will. Yeah. Just create a pulse or check for less than 13 instead of greater. <sighs> okay. Checking for less than 13 means we just need to invert the output of this comparator. Right? Can I do it this way so I don't run into my spectral lotus? I don't know. I guess so. Will that do what I want it to do then? Because this will turn on... No, that's not what we want to do, is it? We want to invert the changing signal. This signal will never change. Yeah, this signal never changes. It stays. As 13. So what we need to do is d this line needs to be I'm sure I almost have it. Redstone's always been a huge challenge for me so um make it a pulse or check for less than 13 which is what we would want um I don't know how to do that. Switch the flat. Do I need to just do subtract mode? No. Extend the t exchange the torch and the flower pot. So this would be where my crystal cube. You're saying put the crystal cube here and the signal here? Really? All right, so this will give us signal strength to 12. We need to compare it to this guy, which will eventually be the cube. And that's a 12, so it shouldn't be working. Oh wait, yes it is, because it's 12. But if it were 13... Oh! Well, okay, and so then would it be the same on this side? That's 15, and then 14. Oh wait, that's 15. Um, whoop. 14. Aha!
Aha! That's how you invert that. I was so like, how do you... Okay, so we need to do... <laughs> I rock wall, thank you. <laughs> so we need to do this down there. And this is our piston that we currently have, our sticky piston that's down there. So we need to start, we're gonna build this backward. And we're gonna do the repeater. Do I have, I need a few more blocks apparently. Cause this is going to, whoop, get you picked up. Try not to lose a whole lot of stuff. All right. So a repeater is going here with the redstone block. We're just going to take this apart. Bit by bit. Redstone block goes here, which we're going to want to currently disable. So we'll put it there. And then we need to do the two... Um, let me put some stuff away. Some stuff, apparently. Not all. Need a few more of these. Okay. So now we need the regular pistons. Thank you for helping me, Brad. I'm not sure I would have figured it out on my own. <laughs> You love my content? Aww. Okay, so there and there. And then here and here are where the comparator mess is going. So we can tear this down. And we don't need anything there, do we? Yes, we up. Uh, no, because the redstone. All right. So this one is going to be a comparator. Here is gonna do do do. -do. I need more comparators. All right. Then we do. Let's do this one first. Okay, and this is the one that is over here, and Boop. file pot, cactus. And then this needs to be a crystal cube configured to white wool. Let's lock it. All right, so that one is that. We currently don't have enough for it to push that redstone block over. And then. Oh. Cats, we're doing this first. Sorry, you're gonna have to wait to eat. Um, and then this one is going to be the crystal cube, and this one is going to be the pot, right? Cube. Pot. Alright, so. Pot here. That's the signal we want. Cube here. Whoops. With white wool configured. Lock it. And now, is that it? Currently, we don't have enough white wool for it to run, so this is how it should be set up. When we do have enough white wool for it to run, when there's more than a 15 or more signal strength, 
this should be in this position. Will we have any problems where the pistons are extended and not allowing this to push back and forth? I am glad that we're building up on white wool. We've got 5,000 now, which we were under 2048 when we started this, guys. So it shouldn't take too long to rebuild our white wool. <laughs> We can clean up our testy mess. Um, cactus in here, no room. What's in here that we don't need in here? All right. Both pistons are regular pistons. Yes. None are, neither are sticky. So this should be what we want then. And it should fix our problem. Thank you. Thank you for the help. I, it probably would have taken me forever to realize that to get the comparison I wanted, I needed to flip these two. Yeah, it would have probably taken me forever to do that part. So what we're taking is we're, we've got a signal strength of 12 and we're comparing it with the signal strength that's coming out of here. Um, it's currently more than 12. Isn't it? Anyway, or anyway. Happy, happy, happy. All right, that is going to be it for me today, folks. Um, the cats are pacing because their food alarm went off, and I'm like, fishing, finishing this first, fellas. Um, yeah, so we fixed a few things. We still need to get a witch's hat so that we can make a spider spawner. But, uh, well, a witch spawner for spider eyes. Um, but I think we have a few more pitches that we've been able to correct so that's good we're i don't want this to break i don't want cascading failures like season one so we're going to try and make sure to avoid all that anyway take care folks i will see you next weekend for some more floromancer have a great week have a great week bye